Hello and welcome back to Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 2. Now you see all those Aztecs over there? They're going to disappear in a second because we're going to revert back to the previous save and then we're going to turn off Sunset Invasion and then there's going to be no more Aztecs and we're all going to be very happy and uh, we're all going to pretend like this never happened. So, you ready? Three, two, one, and they're gone. Right, so let's, uh, let's carry on. So we're now a nine-year-old boy again. And we're just going to pretty much play as we did before. Now, I forget where things are going to be. So we still have the Tyrells in charge. We still have the Middleburys in charge. And we haven't done any wars against them. We haven't been attacked by Mina Fozaway yet. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much where we're at. So, yeah. Let's um, carry on exactly as we did before. Right. Everything seems fine. You're fabricating claims. Yes. Yes. Everything is fine. Let's move on. Hopefully. Yes, time. Speed up the game slightly. We'll play at max speed just to uh, get us through some of the quiet times. People are being released from other people's dungeons. Good, good. Raiders are appearing. Haha, <laughs> look at that rat trying to walk with broken legs. Roly poly little rat. Perhaps a, t a cat next. Ooh, we're cruel. That's more interesting. Nope, I'm sorry. My ears are still ringing from the slap Allison gave me over the rat. I guess I deserved it. We're not cruel. Sorry. We don't get to be cruel. Oh well. That's fine. Ooh. We can righteously imprison someone. Sir Imri of Brofton. Of uh, Brown Toff. What was he doing? He is seeking to become maester. Alright. I think we kind of already knew that in a way. Hmm. Okay. Cool. But he, our, our maester doesn't want to say... Oh, he's seeking to become our regent, but our maester doesn't want to stop him. So that's fine. Uh, Lord Dunstan of Iron Oaks died. That's uh, disappointing for him. Yeah. There we go. Now we're being attacked by Mina Fozaway. That's what I expected to happen. We'll slow down the game a little bit. So, Mina Fozaway. She has her allies here. They're probably going to be the same people who, come in last, uh, who came in last time. So we're going to summon up all of our men. We're all going to merge up in Inchfield. And we're going to get a, a mercenary band. We're going to hire the... Uh, Yes, we're going to hire the Stormbreakers. Then we're going to merge. They're going to all merge up in Inchfield. There we go. Where's our allies? That's what we're waiting for. When are our allies going to come in? We got. We'll speed it up just slightly, till we till our armies start to be uh, closer to each other. There we go. Right. Here's where we want to be. We want to kill this army up here. We already know the correct strategy because we did it last time. That's, that's where I'm at here. We know the correct strategy. So, who do we want to be leading? Axel seems like a good choice. Oh, we should also put in, instead of our father, we're going to put in Magner. He's uh, alive again, of course, because we reverted the save. Uh, he can lead the center. We'll have... Um, hmm. I guess we'll have Axel leading this, uh, this side. And Edric... Edric's fine, but is he the best? Yeah, I guess he's the best. Hmm. Okay, we'll have Edric leading, leading that side. They want to go kill their army. So we'll go to Long Table. And that should allow us to get into Lake Old Keep. Yeah, we'll go to Lake Old Keep. Lake Old Keep, sorry. And we'll kill the army. Perfect. Now we're all retreating to the ring. Seems like a good idea. We'll kill everyone in the ring. And then we'll all retreat to the next place, which will be... Where is it going to be? It's going to be north. We're going to Alden Keep. Catch up with them there. Kill that army. Right. Now, where do we want to go? So they have 9,000 men coming up. Looks like the people who did spawn over here have not cut, spawned there this time. So we're going to head down probably to... Holly Hall, maybe? Yeah. Uh, Jaden would like to join us. Um, he is a strategist. Hmm, interesting. Um, yeah, you can join us. We need everyone we can get. Seems reasonable. Um, we have not won a siege. That's some a special interest person won a siege. Cool, we killed that army, which is actually worth something. That means they can't use those leaders. 
Now, do you have river crossings between here and Holly Hall? So we want to go to New Barrel and then Cider Hall. Kind of in like that. That's kind of symbolic. Right, and we should win this. 12,000 12, versus 9,000. Easy fight. They just assaulted down uh, Cider Hall. That's, uh, that's not a good decision. They, they just lost so much morale. And I don't even think they got... Oh, they did get it. They managed to grab it at the last second. Oh, that's uh, that's disappointing. Uh, new barrel? Wait, did they? Yeah, they did grab it. Okay. We'll head back in. Uh, my lord, thank you for having me in your household these past years. You were here for about five minutes. Okay. Lord Paramount Albers accepted me into his service. So what he did is he joined us. And then he then he was offered a job uh, like by Lord Paramount. So he basically joined us so that he could get a better job. That's uh, that's not on. Okay, back to Cider Hall. Kill that army. Someone declared war for the North. And we'll follow them again to Holly Hall. And... Oh, we're going to get both of their armies here. We stacked, wiped them. Now, what are they getting war score from? Yeah, we, we don't have Cider Hall. That's where they're getting war score. We'll, we'll just grab Cider Hall now. We're going to, gonna, of course, assault it down. And that gives us a 100% war score. Offer peace. Get rid of the mercs. Get rid of all of that. Good. We just won a war. And let's things continue. Yeah, that was good. That was much cleaner than last time. Mainly because we knew exactly what was going to happen. And one of their allies didn't come in. But that's fine. We'll let it, we'll speed it up a little bit. It's very easy when you're defending to like against people who are very spread out to win wars. Tanya Merriweather died. Okay. Oh, also, did Magner survive this time? See, he's alive. No problem. No problem. Perfect. Right. Uh, we can press our de jure ducal claims. Probably can't. Do we have any army left? We have more army left than we had previously as well. Although it needs some time to reinforce. Mira Fowler's dead. Lords of Long Table changed taxes. Uh, Lord Torrin the Drunkard accepted Ramsay II's, uh, the ill ruler of the North's uh, peace offer. Oh, it's actually just King Ramsay. I saw the uh, the lines there and was like, oh, there's two lines. It must be second. Nope. Uh, okay, so he's probably going to be killed soon. If I had to guess. Oh, no, he was just released. Okay. More people being released from dungeons. Cool, cool, cool. Right, how old are we now? Eleven. That's not too bad. Uh, no heir of your dynasty. Yes, we kind of know that. We have some weak claims that you can be pressed. Don't need to really worry about them too much. Um, now that I think about it, I should probably set Magner to be um, one of our bodyguards. That seems like a good idea. Just so he doesn't kill us. Well, not, not so he doesn't kill us. So other people don't kill us. He's in the way and he can kill them. That's pretty much where I'm at here. Uh, your Septum, Septum Wyman of New Bowl reports that Septum Wyman of New Bowl has been humbled by your endless generosity to the poor New Bowl. The peasants are singing your name. A job well done. Yes, fantastic. This is much better. We're not getting any silly events about uh, some foreign people from across the seas. We, ne we never did. Obviously. Yeah. It's... Right. Uh, raiders have arrived. It's actually been a very quiet month, actually. There's not a lot of events happening. Guess there's nobody's really at war. People are naive fools, laughing, dancing, and nodding like puppets, all to the false tune played by priests and noblemen. Charlatans, all. It's all pointless. Yes. The priest bored me to tears of a sermon and told my guardian about my cynicism. She tried beating it out of me, and it worked. Hmm. She is uh, very zealous. Okay, I can see why this might be uh, happening the way it is. That's fine, though. It's fine. It's turning colder and colder. The people of New Barrow can no longer work the fields. See, yeah. Actually, that, that happened previously during the war. So we actually managed to do that very quickly. Oh, and winter's over. Well, that was quick. Yeah, that was a very, very short winter. Oh, well. It's warming as winter comes to an end in New Barrow. Yeah, that was really quick. What's really annoying is that they actually killed our entire army inside a hall by assaulting. 
Like, cause we have the, uh, we have, we have a, we had, well, we had a negative modifier there. Due to it being recently sacked, which is why, uh, you know, it has no men from Cider Hall. Which is a little annoying. Advanced is now known as the Old. Cool, Raiders have arrived. Uh, we're still 12. That's good. We are almost of age to get married. Oh! Lord Paramount Theomore of the Westlands. It's declared Lord Paramount Theomore of the Westlands wore in the Iron Throne on King Willis the, be the uh, Beggar King. So, last time, somebody declared a war on them previously. But it wasn't him, was it? I can't remember. I think it might have been the Stormlands declaring a war. I can't remember. Somebody declared a war for the Iron Throne on the Beggar King. I don't think it was the Westlands, but it might have been. So the Westlands are now declared, declared the war on the Iron Throne. We now get the choice. Uh, Lord Harland, the realm is in a state of war. And as such, I, as your liege Lord Paramount, command that you provide men to support my armies. Regards, Albert of House Middlebury, Lord Paramount of the Reach. Well, we'll do what he we'll do what we did last time. We'll support the throne. My liege, I've discovered a plot where Magna Wind seeks to replace Harland Marvin as Castilian. Um, well, imagine we just tell him to stop it. But we'll probably wouldn't imprison him. Yeah. Stop it. That's fine. Lord Mallor of Blueburn Resuit refused the revocation of Lordship of Roseford as requested by Lord Paramount Albert of the Reach. Okay, this is a different war than last time. Interesting. Uh, Halric, uh, that's the uh, Peasants will end it. So, last time we were actually at war with Mallor Uller because um, she was trying to revoke someone else's title. Interesting. We will accept, like we did last time. We could now usurp the High Lordship of Mandervale. Ooh. In fact, we could do that right now. Because we're no longer in the same realm as Lady Mina. I guess we'll do it. Yeah, we'll just usurp it. That's fine. No real reason not to. I mean, if we're going to have multiple uh, High Lordships, we might as well just collect as many as possible. That's fine. Um, anything else we need to do right now? Not really. So, we're at War of the Lord Paramount. Let's summon up all of our men. I mean, raise up. So, summon makes it sound like they're coming out of nowhere. That's fine. Right, move everybody in. My liege, peace be with you. Your demand is just. My scheming was obviously misdirected. I hope you find it in you to forgive me. Yeah, sure. Right. So, we'll merge up and we're going to beat up our liege. Um, my liege, I write to you with bad news from New Rama. If efforts to squeeze some extra taxes out of the population have been met with resistance and the peasants are arming themselves, I fear we may have a revolt in our hands soon. Your humble steward, Lord Franklin of Bitterbridge. Yes, yes. Well, that's fine. Right. Uh, my lord, for some time now, I've been in the employ of Septon Mervyn, but I seek a better station. I humbly request to join your new barrel so I may serve you. All I ask in return is a, sm a small recompense. Hmm. Sure. Okay. Melos is no longer just car. Melos' opinion of Lord Harlan changes. Oh, Septon wants to become our just car. Okay. Instead of Melos. No. That's, that, he's worse at the job. And we have to pay him for it. That seems bad. We're going to head to Middlebury. And we're going to win the war for Mala Uller. Seems like a good idea. Just head straight to Middlebury. And siege it down. Oh, we could assault it. There we go. Master Garrett has been tutoring me in the past few months. Has been a good teacher. I feel like I know so much more. We gained diplomacy and became just. Interesting. My lord, I am pleased to report I have captured some high-value prisoners after a siege of wealth of Windflower Keep. I hereby turn them over to your judgment. Yours humbly, Sir Magnar. Oh, you captured uh, Lord Paramount and Lady Serena. Um, I guess we won the war. If you would like to request our um, prisoners. No? <laughs> He doesn't want to just win the war. All he has to do is request our prisoners. Can we do... S oh, he didn't get imprisoned. It said we imprisoned him, but we didn't, he didn't imprison him. How did that happen? 
Ah, okay. Well, we'll continue being around here for now. So we captured Serena. Serena Lannister. We could always um, ransom her. Although I think we should ransom her after the war. Alright, let's head down to Hornhill. Mm, too many men here. We'll, we'll kill this, this army once it gets nearby. Yeah, we'll jump into Middlebury and kill it. Oh, I guess we'll chase it. Head down like this. My friends dream of riches, power, and fancy things, but I don't even want to grow up. I'm happy with what I have. We gained content. Come on, uh, Guardian. That's the one I want you to get rid of. Mm, probably not going to happen. Oh, we'll, we'll back out here. We're, we've got no support. Oh, we could try and join in this fight if we wanted to. This might not be too bad. Uh, it's bad. Yeah, we can't join in. We'll, we'll leave. We'll head up and probably try... Maybe we'll try and merge with uh, Blueburn up here with Malar Uller and see what he does with 16,000 men. That's not too bad. Peasants revolt on Dorne. Ah, it was Dorne who declared last time on the Iron Throne. Yes, of course. Now I remember. A grave news. Maester Garrett, having been tending to the wounds of men at your command, is reported to have cracked under the stress of the grotesque injuries. The men now are now unnerved because of this. Oh no. Um, he's offered to go through my titles. Uh, stop bothering me about this. We'll keep our titles as our titles. Oh, it's because he became stressed, which lowered his stewardship by one, which lowered the amount of holdings he can hold by one, which lowered the amount of holdings we can have by one. I see. Uh, I wish to follow the orders of Master Quentin. There we go. We'll see what he does with our army. It's not too bad. Oh. Your Regent Master Maester Garrett has decided to go through your newly acquired domains titles and distribute them to existing or new vassals in order to ease your burden of government. As he is your Regent, you have no say in the matter. Okay. So he gave away Holly Hall to whom? He gave away Holly Hall to Lord Rickard of Holly Hall. Wickard uh, Winthorpe. Okay. Interesting. House Winthorpe it appeared out of nowhere. Cool. Cool. Holly Hall have uh, approved taxes changing. Be able to release from other people's dungeons. Yes, yes. Well, hopefully we can do something over here. Do we have the best leaders we can on our army? I'm going to detach just for a second to check leaders. Don't worry about it. We need another leader. Uh, we need another person here. Let's get another commander. Oh, looks like Axel is dead. So we can't have him. You are currently our Castilian. You are a treasurer. You Mace is fine, but he's craven. Hector is our vassal. Hector will do. Put Hector in charge, and then we'll uh, stay in Holly Hall and merge up. There we go. Not in Holly Hall, in Hammer Hall. That's fine. We're not too invested in this war. We're just kind of invested in the war. I mean, there are, there are other people on our side. Quite a few of them. They really only have Thornton Hill on their side. Uh, Avance died of pneumonia. Okay. Uh, Peasants Revolt ended in Dorne. Very nice. Vinny Old Wild died a natural death. High Septimus died and we succeeded by Septim. Oh, Vinny Old Wild was our grandmother. Oh, she's now dead. She was married to Harlan the First. Hmm, interesting. Cool. Cool. We're almost 14. We could get married. Oh, he's moving our army. Uh, where are we going? Are we going to fight? Oh, yeah. This is good. Lawrence accepted. Oh, so that's the Peasants' Revolt in the north has ended. Legood Keep in the 23rd. We're going to arrive in Smithton in the 22nd. So we're going to be attacking into Smithton, into farmlands and temperate land. This is all right. Okay, so we have a leader on every flank, but it appears that every one of the leaders of, like, every one of Malor Uller's leaders are better, so they took over every flank, which is fine. We have many, many more men in the center, which means even though we're losing more, they're going to be, like, their casualties matter more. We're for some reason losing a lot of men on this flank. Oh, it's because we have less men on this flank. Okay. So our center flank should win very quickly. Uh, we should probably maybe lose this one. 
center will fight it, center will win, and then it'll attack this one. That's my theory for how it's going to go. Let's see. Center flank wins very, very quickly. Center flank turns to fight this one. Center flank wins. We won the battle. Lord Joffrey of Hornhill was captured and is now our prisoner. Oh, perfect. We captured uh, Joffrey Lannister. Uh, okay, Mo we can imprison Morn. Why can we imprison Morn? What's Morn doing? Seeking to replace Lord Allen as uh, Spymaster. I suspect we just tell him to stop it. Yup. Cool. Well, chase. We're going to continue chasing here as we should. My liege, peace be with you. Demand is just. Perfect. We are going to win this battle. Joffrey of Horn Hill is complaining about Dark Sun in the dungeon. Uh, we'll be merciful. That's fine. We won't let him go, but we'll be merciful. It does make it easier for him to be rescued, but that's fine. We'll speed up the game slightly again. We're not actually controlling the armies, so that's fine. Are we 14? Oh, we're 14 there. Oh, are we going to win this one? Uh, yes, we're going to win this one. Perfect. Willis the Beggar King accepted King Theomor of the Iron Throne's peace offer. So our uncle is now in charge of the Iron Throne. And so Willis the Beggar King, the Tyrells, have been cast out to the Lordship of Darkdale. He has usurped the Lordship of King's Landing. Okay. So that now means that the Iron Throne is controlled by the Westlands. Interesting. So the Marbrons are now in charge. Um, okay. I'm trying to find a map mode that makes some degree of sense. How about this map mode? Yeah, it kind of works. Okay. So we won another battle. Good. Our ruler is unmarried. Well, this seems like a good point. Uh, actually, no. We'll keep going. We'll keep going. Um, I think we should get married. I think that is correct. We will find someone to marry. So, who are we looking for? We get to basically choose for ourselves. Um, hmm, we're proud and we're just. That's all we know about ourselves. Our regent is... Uh, Maester doesn't really tell he is diligent so maybe he'd help us find someone good um, our father maybe would join in father zealous so let's say between the Maester and this and the um, and Harlan they would probably pick someone who was zealous or at least religious in some way probably not gonna pick someone with too many awful trait like not by awful I mean like too many um, negatives like drunkard Although he is a drunkard. Okay. So we're going to search for a woman who is not in prison. Who is not married. Who is not a ruler. Actually, you can be a ruler. Who is my religion group and my culture group. Who is doesn't need to be an adult. And doesn't need to be part of a great house. And then we're looking basically at... Uh, kind of from 13 upwards. Let's go from 13 upwards. So, you would be alright. You're arbitrary. Oh no, maybe we'll lower it to Great House. Because we're a Great House now. That seems fine. That should lower the, the people. There are a lot of options. Okay, so let's go for Zealous. Uh, Zealous? Yep, okay. I wasn't sure I spelled it correctly. Let's sort by age. Reset the list and then sort by age. There we go. 13. Twin, greedy, probably not. Zealous and shy, perhaps. Perhaps uh, Stackhouse. That's uh, that's our sister. She She's probably not going to do. Uh, we're not Zoriastrians. Um, gregarious, zealous, ruthless, probably not. Um... Just zealous, brave, gregarious. You're looking like a top choice, uh, Miril Payne. Payne is in the Riverlands. Where is... Like, where exactly is this? Lordship of Blue Fork? Okay. Um, Meryl Payne. Our father is Regnard Payne. Paynes are a fairly large dynasty. Okay. With Chiswick of Blue Fork being in charge. That's a, that's a possibility. We'll just mark her off as um, 
special interest. We have way too many special interests, but that's fine. Right, so that's Myrel Payne. What else have we got? Stokeworth, brave, diligent, deceitful. Hmm, probably not. Mina is kind, arbitrary, gregarious, zealous, and patient. Possibly. She's also got a stutter. Hmm. No. We can do better. You're widowed already, so we can marry you. I'm just seeing if anyone pops out. Yeah, they're too old. Yeah, if it gets that far, they're too old. Hmm. Yeah, she wins by being the only uh, person. I wish to marry you. Needs to be approved by your regent. Really? You don't approve? Hmm. Okay. He doesn't like her for some reason. That's fine. She's off the list. Um, okay. I assume that we would be looking for somebody because we are 14 and it's the point where we can marry and we have no heir, so it would be kind of like a more urgent thing. How about... Um... Well, how about... What was the second choice? I mean, we could marry Mina. Mina Fallway. Fallwell. Was there not another one I spotted? No, I don't think there was. Okay, Mina Fallwell, let's have a look at you. The Fallwells, her parents were Traeger Fallwell and Estron, and Le Leonella Estron. Okay. The Fallwells are a very large house with the heir of the house be uh, with the um, head of the house being Mathen, the chaste. Okay. That seems fine. We could marry her. No, I'm sorry. Actually, we can't marry her. Um, our regent doesn't like it. Okay, regent. What? Who do you? Who would you like to marry? Like, who would you like us to marry? Uh, is there some reason why you're not okay with this? Opposite trait, opinion, maybe. Shy, lustful. Hmm. I'm trying to see if there's a, like some reason why he keeps refusing our options. Okay, we'll look. We'll keep looking. Maybe Zealous is not the right option. Let's find somebody who, uh, let's just look again. Who just has generally nice traits. Look for a 14 year old. We'll start at 14 then. That'll lower the, the searching process slightly. Okay. So, how, well we don't want Chase. That seems like a very bad idea. Um... How about... I'm just going until we see somebody who pops out at me. Here. Um, gregarious, patient, diligent, gluttonous, and proud are a little bit off, but she's not too bad. Buckwell. Winifred Buckwell. House Buckwell is uh, a large house again, and she's not too far off. She's in a different branch from the main branch, but that's fine. We can marry her. Um, nope, sorry, we can't marry her. My mistake. How about uh, Dorcas um, Estrin, who is patient, brave, a bit ruthless and humble. That seems fine. She is currently in House Estrin, which is another very large house. Okay. Let's... We could arrange a marriage. Perfect. Between her and us. Marrying the relative of a sir, that's fine. We're still marrying into a reasonably large house. And, uh, yes, we're marrying someone who our regent approves of. Good. Let's marry away. Oh, Lord, Lord Roger of Ocean Road has been released from Lord Paramount Albert the Mild's dungeon because he is now imprisoned by King Theomor of the Iron Throne. Oh, okay, ended inconclusively. Well, let's get back to the ring, which is our territory, I think. Yep, and we can disband. We should marry in a second. To the magnificent Lord Harlan. Oh, what's this? Uh, oh, you want to marry my sister. We'll, we'll be there in a second. The Mrs. To the magnificent Lord Harlan. Blessing upon you and your house. I accept your suggestion that Lord Harlan and Dorcas get married. Uh, yeah, we'll move this one over. So, you, Prince Courtney of the Mountain and Vale, would like to marry uh, our sister. I imagine we would say yes. I think we would say yes. This seems like a good choice. Yeah, we're going to say yes. Although really we should have married one of uh, his sibling, uh, one of uh, his siblings then, but that's fine. 
Uh, I didn't know that was going to happen. Uh, we need to be... Okay, so Dorka still needs an education, so she can be educated by the maester as well. Uh, that wasn't what I was looking for. Let's uh, try this again. We're looking for Maester... What's his name? What is his name? Maester Garrett. So looking for Garrett. So you can be educated by Garrett as well. As you know, we're... Hey, Garrett was getting us educated by Allison. It appears that... Oh, no, because Allison's educating our sister. Yeah, you can be educated by Maester Garrett. That's fine. Uh, Garrett, there we go. Uh... Lord Harland falls away and Lady Dorcas Estrin have got married. It's customary for a dowry to be paid to the groom's house, but there is no one to pay it. Of course, there's no one to pay it. We will, of course, hold a, we a wedding feast. All my vassals will be there. And we'll invite everyone in. Uh, it's people being released from dungeons. Sir Rhyme for the Iron Throne. Cool. Uh, Morgan of Summerfield has declared Summerfield League Independence War on Queen Revelia the Whisper. Hmm. Okay. Lord Morgan uh, Bittersteel. Bard's home is now under control of... Wait, it's now independent? Or it's part of Gull Town? Oh, it's part of the Mountain Vale. Interesting. And this is part of... Um, that's just independent. Okay. He's still imprisoned by the Iron Throne. Interesting. Um, a wedding feast. We'll spend lavishly. Wait, do we want to spend lavishly? We're proud. We could probably push to spend lavishly. Preparations for the wedding have been made now, and you have to send out the invitations. Dear Lord Harlan, I thank you for your invitation, but I will not be able to attend the wedding. In fact, I refuse to set food in the same castle as you. Respectfully, Septim Samwell. Um, he doesn't really, he doesn't hate us. Um, I guess he hates our regent. That's probably it. Wait, yeah, he probably ha hates our regent. Dear Lord Harlan, thank you for the invitation, but I will not be able to attend the wedding. In fact, I refuse to set foot in the same castle as you. Respect, Lord Tranton. Well, I don't like you either. Yeah, it must be a regent's uh, opinion. The fire blasted right past my face, and I felt how my hair started to curl away from the fire. The fire eater had been a bit too careless for my taste, but his troop and he were clearly greatly skilled. Um, too dangerous. I don't want to catch fire. Yeah. Um... Peace be with you. I've discovered a plot where Magnawin seeks to kill Harlan Hill. Excuse me? Magna? Do you, uh... Do you have something to say? We would 100% try and imprison him here. He is locked away. And we will call for a trial. Yes. Magner has, has demanded trial by combat and is summoning his champion to Newbarrel, who will remain in the dungeons until then. I would stop the episode, but um, we act like these trial by combats tend to break if you uh, don't do them all in one go, so we'll keep going. The guards drag Magner Wynn out from his cell and throw him at your feet. I've come for justice, he says, but right to birth and blood, I demand trial by combat. You have that right. I will, se I will select someone to stand for his lord. Who shall be my champion in a trial by combat against Magna Wynn? Well, we have one at our court. Mace of Green Lanes. He will fight for us. He is a bit craven, but he will do it. Sir Mace steps forward. I'll stand for you, my lord. Fight well, Sir Mace. You watch in horror as Sir Mace falls to the floor, Magna Wynn's sword grievously wounding him. The prisoner takes his leave, walking out of the doors with a smile on his face as the entire court looks on in disbelief. Wow. That's, uh... That's definitely something. Oh, Ivy Hall's getting more titles. He transferred vassalage of... Okay, vassalage just being kind of moved around. Kenrick was released. The wedding day is soon upon us. I'll be wed to Lady Dorcas in the sight of all in the uh, all lords of the Rose Road. It shall be a glorious ceremony. The guests have finally arrived. All is ready. The servants have worked day and night to prepare and decorate the dance hall. Lady Dorcas's gown is splendid, and the castle has never looked lovelier. Perfect. Perfect. Here I stand before the gods, take up a holy vow of marriage with Dorcas Estrin. The great lords and ladies of the realm look on as I drape the arms of House Fuzzway around my bride, ready to seal our marriage. And now for the feast. Yes, now for the feast. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, someone was just executed. Willis Tyrell, the Beggar King, was executed. Okay. Well, you know, he's about to get around to Middlebury soon. We'll see what he does. 
The feast is winding down, now only the bedding remains. Harlan and Dorcas are stripped of all garments by the revelers who make many a body joke along the way, then finally bundled into the bedchamber where they are finally left alone. A fine tradition. Okay. And I think... The morning after the wedding feast has come, and all the lords and ladies are finally making their way home, all agree it was a fine celebration. Many predict that the newlyweds will be most content. Perfect. Our wife did not become pregnant. And I think that this is probably a good moment to end the episode. Yes, we've got some stuff to do next time. We need a new Castilian. And I think that's a good point. Thank you for watching. I'll see you then.